What's up, people? It's your man, Black Cobra, back once again. Today, I'm talking about the InMotion V12. I want to give you the big guy's first impressions on this wheel. I've read it a couple times. I got some thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. You can see here, I took the wheel on a little bit of a cruise through a park. I decided to see what it felt like off-road a little bit on some uneven surfaces. Went through a little slushy mud here, not much, just a little bit to get a feel for how this wheel felt on and off-road for this little trip. By the way, I want to start out with a shout out to the guys over at Lazy Rolling. I'm wearing the Lazy Rolling armored black jeans right now and loving them. Now this wasn't a super exciting ride, but it was a familiarization ride. This was my second time on the wheel, and I was out and about trying to make sure that I could get the real feel of this wheel. One of the things I like about it is that it feels powerful enough to be in the midst of traffic, but nimble enough to wiggle in and out wherever I may need. Now those of you that have been riding for a while, you know that it takes a while to get familiar with the wheel. It takes a while to really get to know the wheel. It's one of those things that you just can't rush and you really do need to experience the wheel in bunches of different situations. Now before I continue down that road of my familiarization with this wheel, let's talk about the wheel itself. The Emotion V12 is a 1750 watt hour, 100 volt wheel. It really does have some pretty impressive specs, especially for the fact that it's a 16 inch wheel. And I think that's what gives it some of that zip. It is slated to go a 43.5 miles per hour that's what they claim more realistically it's probably more like 41 miles per hour somewhere in that neighborhood it does have the bluetooth speakers for the nice music playback the upgraded customizable rgb lighting a 2500 watt motor which like i said on that 16 inch rim is very zippy has extra large pedals, adjustable pedal height. Uh, it uses the USB-C cell phone for fast charging if you need. It has a trolley handle right on top, which is actually uh, a decent trolley handle. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. These are the specs that the wheel come with. Now, all that being said, when it comes to specs, we all know that not every wheel lives up to the specs or the hype.
Now this is just my first impressions video, so obviously I haven't ridden the wheel enough to really tell you whether it, it fully lives up to its hype or its potential. I definitely will do that in the near future, but right now I'm just trying to get to know this wheel as I said, trying to make it do what I want it to do and trying to get the feel of what it does naturally. Some of the things I can tell you right off the bat, straight from jump, I can tell you that I don't like riding this wheel naked. And I don't mean me. I mean without pads on it, this wheel is much like others that I've ridden that have the kind of power and torque in them. You need some sort of power pads, some sort of Clark pads, some sort of side pads, some sort of something to squeeze what you want out of this wheel. I can tell you that trying to do maneuvers on this wheel the first time I got on it when I didn't have any pads was not a feeling I liked very much. Here you can see I decided to do some braking drills to try and see just how much it would take for me to bring this wheel to a stop. Now I don't have the full set of Clark pads on here. I am waiting for the Gen 3 foam ones to come in. I do not have a full set of any of the pads. I do however have the pads from the EUC market which are just the top portion of the power pad. Uh, these are good for torque, um, for braking. As you can see there during the test, they helped a little. I still felt like I needed more stopping power. I still felt like I needed more of a pad on this wheel. Overall, I'm liking the V12 so far. So I didn't have a whole lot for you today. I just want to give you my initial impressions. I need to put a lot more miles on this wheel to really give you a review. But I hope you like what you saw. If you did, Go ahead, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, come back and check me out again. I will see you soon with more V12 content because I'm definitely gonna ride this a lot, put a lot more miles on it to give you some more of my thoughts. If you're looking to get a V12 for yourself, you know that most of the distributors are gonna have them, but you can go ahead and check the affiliate links below this video. If you wanna go to eWheels, Yuko, if you're in the UK, definitely check my man eRides, and they will hook you up with a V12. Right now, most of them are probably on that slow boat from China, but I'm sure we'll be getting a bunch of them soon. As we see, we got this one already, and I know many other people are getting them in their hands. So if you're looking for one, go ahead and hit those affiliate links below the video. Until next time, this is your man, Black Cobra. Remember, ride hard, keep it real, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.